Hello and welcome to Amethyst Style Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today my pre-order has arrived. So I thought that we would go to start off with, rather than going through all the products, that we would go through the new in colours, which are always five new colours that come in and last for two years. And then rather than doing a comparison of the cardstock, I thought we would do a comparison of the inks so you can see the different coloured inks um, and how similar they are to maybe ones that we've had before because I know that quite a few of you have said that you're not ordering just yet, you're waiting to see what everybody else does and, and all of those things. So let's start with the new in colours. We have, I'm going to do the greens to start off with, so we have two shades of green which are really lovely this probably looks in fact it does it looks very very dark on here it's actually a really lovely um it is a dark green but it's not as dark as it always looks on camera and then you've got this other lovely softer green and they are called this one is soft succulent so it is a it's a really lovely sort of just a pretty green if I sort of bring it up on here that's a pretty accurate sort of color um, that's coming up I'm trying to sort of do it as near so you can see that's that's pretty accurate so that's soft succulent we've then got the darker green which, as I say, is a beautiful green colour. And this one is called Evening Evergreen. So if I pick that up, um, and again, I'm tipping it slightly to my light so that you can get more of an idea of the colour. But it's not as, as dark as it shows up on camera. It is a very, it's a beautiful green. It would be great for the sort of fir trees and, uh, um, you know, sentiments and things. So that one is Evening Evergreen. We then have, I'm going to put those two down together. We then have what I would class as your pinks and purples. Now, this I know is going to come out far brighter than it is it, it's a, a a more it's a slightly more subtle color than it actually appears and if I put the ink pad on there you can see that it you probably think it's more sort of melamambo ish or whatever but we will do a comparison so you can see but it's actually far softer and when I first saw it I thought oh an old color strawberry slush so we're going to try the ink for that one but it's a beautiful, it's softer than the Melamambo and the, um, the other colours. So if I put that one down there, then we've got the Fresh Freesia. Now this is a beautiful, again, is a very soft, 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 soft colour. Almost looks like Highland Heather on this. It's not at all. It's a very... A very soft colour but it's so difficult to try and get the actual accurate colour on a camera it doesn't matter what light you're using it all comes out slightly different um, so anyway that's the fresh freesia then we've got this one which is pale papaya so if I bring this up it looks very very yellow on this and I would say it is it's not as yellow as this at all. It's far more of a slightly sort of orangey colour. And again, we're going to match the inks with colours that we think would have gone with it. So if we start with, I'm going to do the ones where I haven't got a huge amount. And I'm just going to do it on my grid paper rather than on cardstock. So we can just have um, a comparison because I'm... I'm always sort of looking at things and going, hmm, what does that look like? So let's start with this um, pale papaya. Now, as I said, I would have said that that is 
um, there was an old colour called Peekaboo Peach. So I got the ink out of Peekaboo Peach and I think you'll be quite shocked. That's Peekaboo Peach. That is the Pale Papaya. So I've taken a... This is actually from the art gallery and I've taken this solid one because I thought that this would work quite well in trying to sort of show off the colours. So um, I'm going to just move the paper to one side and then I can bring it back in afterwards and balance it on there. So this is the... Let's put these out to start off with. These are the new colours. So this is the Peekaboo Peach. And obviously they tend to be very juicy when they first start. So let me see where I can put it up on. Yes, I can put it on here. Okay, so this is Peekaboo Peach. And as I say, I'm just doing it on grid paper so you can see. Okay, so that does come out actually more orangey than you would think the that's the the lid that's definitely more orange than the um the outside of the ink pad let's do that with the paper and again is it's a bit you can see it's a bit more slightly more orange than the paper but not a huge amount so let's take the peekaboo peach because i thought that it would probably be as near to Peekaboo Peach. So let's um, ink that up. And I'm going to put that down on there. Yeah, very similar. Very similar. If you, if you look at those, um, the actual ink colour is very similar. I didn't ink it up quite as much. So I'm going to do this one twice. So that's Peekaboo Peach. Let's clean that off a minute. And I'm going to go back over again and put this one on ink wise. Make sure I've just dried it off a little bit. So this is our new. I'll put that in over the top like that. Okay, so it, it's. It's a little bit different, but it is very similar, not cardstock wise, but ink is very, very similar to the Peekaboo Peach. So what I need to do is, let's get that on here. Um, I'm going to get a pen because then I can write down, because then I can refer back to this later. So this is our new... That was the new one, wasn't it? So the new one is Pale Papaya. So let's just put um, down on here, Pale Papaya. And this one is Peekaboo Peach. Okay, so um, I don't think I've got... I've got cardstock, but I'm not sure whether I have. But you can see that that, now it's starting to dry out. There is a difference, but it's not huge. So those two, I would say, are fairly similar ink-wise. Um, and I don't think there's anything else that is, that is near. Um, I'm just looking through it whilst I've pulled out um crisp cantaloupe was another one that i thought mm, maybe it's a little bit like crisp cantaloupe so let's get that one again looks very different on here so this is crisp cantaloupe and let's give that a ink up in that one and see No, that's very different. That's very pink, isn't it? So I'm just going to do two on it just to give it a little bit more of a colour. No, so crisp cantaloupe really is more peachy. So I wouldn't say that that was, that's not very near at all. Um, and you can see it's not really near to, to the paper at all. But the, uh, um, the peekaboo peach in the ink is... Um, it's probably very different with the cardstock, but with the ink, it's definitely very similar. 
Okay, so those are the ones I'm going to compare with those. Let me see if we've got anything. We haven't got anything really similar in for the pale papaya on our current inks. We've got um, pumpkin pie and things like that. So if I take, let me see if I've got, I'm just trying to get some of these ones out because I didn't get all of them. Um, let's get Calypso Coral is going to be too pink. Pumpkin pie, let's have a look and see, there we go. Right, so pumpkin pie is one of the other sort of oranges that we've got. So let's have a look comparison wise. And I'm going to put this sort of over the top because I want to have enough room to do all of the inks. So if I put this one, this is the current, um, the new pale papaya. So I'm going to put this, let's just put it down on here. And you can see that's really quite nice and uh, um, bright and orange. Let's do two of them. So say as they dry, you can see the, let's put it sort of that way, you can see the comparison of them. So that's our pumpkin pie, which is say I think will look beautifully um, with the pale papaya. Uh, and in fact, as the pale papaya is drying, there is a more of a difference um, which I think is always quite interesting. Um, and I must admit, I do like that colour. Um, I think I prefer the ink to the actual um, cardstock. The cardstock is quite... Um, it's quite... It's fairly sort of wishy-washy, I think. It, it, it's not as, as vibrant as you would imagine. So that's, that's looking better in, in, at that sort of angle. Um, in on there and you can see that that is our pale papaya that's our peekaboo peach so on camera it does look very very similar but it is slightly different not a huge amount um, so if you liked peekaboo peach you're definitely going to like pale papaya okay so that's really all of those so let's get the that's the pale papaya so I'm going to put that back on there so we can have a look at the end and say I'm only going to do the inks at the moment because um, I don't want to have a video that's going on forever and a day so this is the new freesia I need to close the pad to see exactly what it is I think it's fresh freesia so let's ink that up and we'll put that down on here like that oh that's quite nice brighter than I thought it would be let's put it up there so we get sort of two tones on there oh now that is that is um it's different stamped to how I thought it would be and this is why I always find it interesting when you actually start stamping the inks that's really quite a, um quite a nice bright let's bring in the cardstock and put that against it so it is fresh freesia that's the uh, um, the cardstock against it. So the cardstock is paler than the ink, although obviously as it dries. But that's a really nice, bright... I quite like that one. I, I like the sort of the purples and things. So um, this is... Let's put it down on here. Fresh Freesia. And then let's see colours that will go with the Fresh Freesia. Um, now, I brought out a few, and I think that they might be. Um, so, from the older ones, I thought it would be very similar to Sweet Sugar Plum. And, I say, some of these I haven't got out for a long time, so they might not be um, very juicy. But let's, let's have a look and see if I've got any... I haven't re-inked them because I don't really use them. So this is Sweet Sugar Plum, which I say I'm sure a few of you will remember. So let's put that down. Ah, now that's the, no, that, that's very different, isn't it? Let's just do another one that's like that. Okay, so it's not like Sweet Sugar Plum, which I thought it might be. One of my absolute favourites. I really loved that one. Um... So what other one did I think it would be potentially similar to? 
Um, I don't think there was anything that was um, ink wise that I thought would be similar. However, I think that let's go and take from our current colours in on the purples. We've got, um, so this is, I need to put on these. That was Peekaboo Peach. So these are retired. Um, that was Crisp Cantaloupe. That's retired. That's Pumpkin Pie, which is current. This was Sweet Sugar Plum, which is retired. So let's have these ones, which are current. So this is Highland Heather. And let's see ink wise with Highland Heather. I think it's going to be quite similar. That's just my, oh no it's not, there you go. Isn't it funny when you actually stamp it out, it is very different. Okay, so that is Highland Heather, which I've always liked. And then, um, put that back on there. And then we've got Gorgeous Grape. So let's just have a quick look at Gorgeous Grape together. So we can look at those colours that, um, that blend through. So this is Gorgeous Grape, which is darker. So I'm going to put the Gorgeous Grape down next to the Highland Heather because those are ones that we know work together. So this is Gorgeous Grape like that and that's obviously the deeper of the two so the highland heather is lighter and the um gorgeous grape is paler although as i say inking them up like that they probably look let me see on the camera whether they look exactly the same they shouldn't do they do actually look very very similar on there there is there is a difference but that's the fresh freesia which is lovely and as i say it's it's not like um sweet sugar plum at all and I've brought out some of the other older ones to just turn around and go they're not um they're not very similar at all um you know blushing bride nose very pink um let's just have put that against it to just do the colors that's beautiful color I really like that so this is blushing bride Let's just put a little bit of that down there to see how it works together. Yes, you see, they, they, they do work beautifully together, the purples and the pinks. Really like those. So let's just bring that one back in again. So we've got, this is the new colour, the fresh. Um, in fact, what I need to do is... Let me just put a circle around them so we don't get them confused. So that's the new pale papaya. That's the new fresh freesia. That's Highland Heather. Um, that's Gorgeous Grape. And that's um, Blushing Bride. Um, now, let's have a look at... Let's go on to these pinks. So the polished pink is the new one. So again, it looks incredibly vibrant on that pad. So let's see what it's like when it's... Um, ooh, looks a very bright one. Let's put that in there. Oh my goodness. Now that's a lot, lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. So that's polished pink. Now I'm going to take the cardstock and it's always very interesting with the cardstock and things um so this is that's your fresh freesia which is say once it's dried is very similar so i'm just going to put that on there fresh freesia well, as i get them muddled up okay so this is and i think that this is going to be interesting when it comes out so that put them together that's a lot pinker than I thought it was going to be. So polished pink is actually very pink. 
So let's see for colours. Um, let's do what we've already got. So Melon Mambo. Let's put some Melon Mambo next to it. So this is our new. Put my circle around it. And this is polished pink. Okay. So this is uh, Melon Mambo. And I think ink-wise it's going to be very similar. Oh, need to re-ink this one. I'm just going to put this. Okay, so this is Melon Mambo. Very, very similar ink-wise, which is always interesting. Put that up there. Yeah, so that's Melon Mambo. And to be quite honest, looking at that together, ink-wise, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I think that they are virtually identical when they're stamped out. Um, we'll see what it's like when it starts to dry, because as I say, it did, the other ones did dry and did look a little different. So that's Melon Mambo. And then we've got Magenta Madness, which is the neon pink. Um, and I think that that is going to be slightly um, different. But let's have a look and see. So that's... Put that one in like that on there. This is more of a purpley colour. Yes. Okay, so that's very different. But ink-wise, the polished pink and the magenta madness are very, very similar. Um, if you stamp them, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference very much. I know I've done two on there. Let me do two on there. So we're doing a complete comparison one to the other. Now I tell you what as well, and I don't know whether it's just me, these new ink pads seem to be an awful lot easier, just do it like that, seem to be an awful lot easier to open and close. Quite surprised. Maybe they've maybe they've loosened the mechanism a little bit because I do struggle with some of them, whereas these seem to be a lot easier for me. Okay, so those are the current ones. Now I know that um, when the polished pink first came out and I looked at it, I thought, oh, I think it's very similar to strawberry slush. So I'm going to um just get out what have i got here i've got out of the old ones okay so this is strawberry slush and i thought that it was very similar to strawberry slush so i'm just going to put one of those up on here which is the strawberry slush turn it round a bit um no it's not it's not Strawberry slush is far more red, strawberry looking, whereas those two, as I say, are very, very similar. Polished pink and Melon Mambo, as the inks, are very similar. Um, so I'm just making sure I've got this. Um, so, yes, yeah, strawberry slush isn't. Um, I'm just going to show you these ink pads because I don't think that they're going to be right. Another old one was Primrose Petals. Another old one was Berry Burst. Berry Burst is more purpley, um, so it's going to come more to the um, Magenta Madness. Um, so I'm not going to do those ones because they're retired. But as I say, Melon Mambo is very, very similar ink-wise. And in fact, if I take the two out on here and hold them up, you can see that the colour tone is very, very similar. That's polished pink that's melon mambo in there and then when they're down that's the polished pink and that's the melon mambo they are very very similar ink wise um, and as I say I'm doing this live I'm doing this you know as we're doing it um, okay so now let's go on to these greens now soft succulent 
really like soft succulent I think it looks a beautiful color so let's have a look and see if I can put should we put that in the middle there oh no again you see that's greener than I thought right that's soft succulent inked And that soft succulent as the uh, cardstock. So that ink is quite a bit darker, although, as I say, it will lighten up. And once we've finished them all and they've had a chance to dry, because I'm just doing it on copy paper, so it's not going to, um, um, it'll take a little while to dry. Um, so we should be able to see in the end. I'm just giving this a good old clean up. So let's have a look and see which inks we think, actually it's drying beautifully, which inks we think are going to be similar or were similar to the um, soft succulent. Now, old colours. Pistachio pudding? Don't think so. Um, I think that's the only sort of old one that I thought would be similar to it. But as I say, I, I don't think it is. I think it's going to be, it's very different, you can see. So that's the only one of the old ones that I thought would be sort of slightly similar. Let's have a look at, um, what have we got? So let's take the greens we've got and put them. So this is let me just put my ring around it so we can see that that's the new colour and that's soft succulent. Okay, and there, whoops, let's just put T succulent. And then I'm going to put, this is Pear Pizzazz, one of my favourite greens. I do use Pear Pizzazz a lot, so I'm going to put that, looks very yellow. Going to put that there. Yes, so that's pear pizzazz. Um, then we've got put that one on there. Then we've got garden green. So these are all current ones. So that's dry these off as I'm going so this is I'm just making sure you can see this at the bottom yes you can so this is garden green so let's put this one down need to re-anchor some of these but it will give a idea color wise okay so that's garden green and you can see the soft succulent is it's very much like a like a succulent I think it's rather nice um, so that's garden green so we've got pear pizzazz on here um, pear pizzazz and we've got garden green on there um, then we've got what have I got Must I've got all of the greens got a, we've got a lot of greens um, so let's have a look this is mossy meadow So let's put Mossy Meadow is quite a green one. Okay, that's Mossy Meadow. And in fact, Mossy Meadow is quite a dark green, isn't it? Be interesting to see that against. Um, so we've done Garden Green. That's Mossy. I don't even think you can see that. That's Mossy. Um, granny apple I think it's very yellow so let's put granny apple in on there this is where I should think that I should have chosen a small my granny apples quite juicy yeah so that's granny apple and that's quite um, quite a brighter yellower green and then we've got just jade on here let me see if I can open it you see 
these ones I do find quite difficult to open. These new ones are opening beautifully. So as I say, I don't know whether they've worked a little bit on the mechanism. I'm trying to clean this off so I don't have any of the other colour to tamper with it on there. Because I'm rather building up the colours in on here with all the ones we've stamped with the same stamp. So let me just clean that up a little bit. So this is Just Jade. And we'll put Just Jade down on. You see, I think Just Jade is, is fair, a little bit similar. Oh, no, it's not. It, it, it's more, that's a, a greyer tone. That's more a, um, a brighter tone on there. So let's put that on there. Um, so those are our greens. Now I have got, I didn't get out, but I think I am going to get out mint macaron, which I didn't get out because I thought would be too blue. But let me just get my mint macaron out. Uh, I always think mint macaron is very, um, is more blue but I think looking soft succulent mint macaron I think that might go quite nicely so let's give that a bit of an ink up and where am I going to put that down on there do another one over the top yes I like I think mint, mint macaron has got more of um put that on there it has got, got a nicer sort of tone with that one so I think soft at the moment soft succulent and mint macaron I think go really well together so let's get that that's our soft succulent out and you can see with all of the greens mint macaron it's really nice with that soft succulent on its own so I would say those two together go really nicely. Okay, now the last one is our Evening Evergreen. It looks really, really lovely. I think it's going to be a beautiful one. So have I got any more room down on here? Um, I think I'm just going to slide it that way. Have I got space on there or do I just take it out and do it on the... I wanted to try and get them all onto one page. So I think I'm going to move it just along on there a bit. Have I got some space on there? Yeah, we can just about see on there, can't we? Okay, so this is Evening Evergreen. We've got a little bit of plastic on there. <laughs> From the packaging I have to be careful not to pick that up too much okay this oh this is going to be beautiful so this is evening evergreen which is the green let's just stamp that out and see oh it's a beautiful beautiful green I'm going to do it twice because I want to get that sort of shading light and dark on there I love that I think that's a beautiful beautiful color um, and it's not as dark as you would imagine now i think that this is very similar to always artichoke which again is an old retired one so i think i might be completely wrong but when i looked at it i thought oh that's one of the darker ones that we had so let's just put that there no it's very different Okay, so that was always artichoke. Um, I also thought that it might be similar to the old Tranquil Tide because it looked as if it might have some of those sort of colours in. So let's have a little stamp of that one and see. quite um oh dear this one really is almost on its last legs but that was that was tranquil tide which isn't again is not 
it's not similar similar um so i think that safe to say the new colors so let me have a look on here the new colors in putting them all together so those need to dry a little bit let's go back to the first one that we had which was the i'm just going to put these on there hopefully they're not they're going to cast a shadow in a minute but we'll just have a little look and see because i'm literally just doing it in so the first one we had a look at was the and i do need to move those out of the way otherwise they're all going to go right let's move these back down here and then i can do them as they've dried okay take that out so i haven't got any shadow so you can now see that when they've dried that this this is the pale papaya and that's the cardstock with it so it does look absolutely beautiful take it with the peekaboo -pe peach the peekaboo peach it is a little orangier as it's dried you can see it's a little orangier but that's it on there and that was the old peekaboo peach so that is a beautiful color together really like that i think that that's beautiful then we've got um the polished pink and i still think that the polished pink looks very like the um magenta madness um even when it's dried so i'm going to try now that we've done all of those sort of color combinations and things in i would say that soft succulent and tranquil tide when it's lighter because as i say i haven't got that that's an old one that i haven't got um i don't think i've got a reinker because i think that they ran out of stocks that's quite similar the fresh freesia is very different to the highland heather now it's dried um and this lovely dark green is it does stand alone it really does it doesn't really go with um isn't exactly the same as any other one and i hope you can sort of see from here that all of these colors are very different so you've got your olds with your news but they are very different so the last thing i'm going to do is because i hate wasting cardstock you see but I think I can do something with it afterwards anyway. So I'm going to take this one off now because we've looked at the colours that we really like and compared them. And then I am going to stamp. So this is on our cardstock. So just for the comparison on here, I'm going to take the polished pink and I'm going to take the, put it on here a minute, so I've got them right. The polished pink and the melon mambo. So this is the new polished pink. It is a very nice colour. I haven't got lovely lipstick or, or those, so I can't sort of compare that to there. But, okay, so this is our new polished pink in on our cardstock i need to give this a clean up what have i done with my oh it's under here i've got so many ink pads and things out all over the place to try and show you and and give me an idea so that's the polished pink And this is where you look at and you think, yeah, okay, so the formula is going to be the same with all of the inks. But that's polished pink. I'm just going to dry this off completely on here so it's not showing up. Put that on there. And that is Melon Mambo. So I'm going to do Melon Mambo along the side. make sure that's inked up on there so it's as 
juicy as the other one is. So it's an absolutely fair comparison. So that's Melon Mambo. Okay, and yeah, ink wise, I would say even on our cardstock and everything, very, very similar. There, there's very little difference at all um, to those. So, as I say, Melon Mambo and the new polished pink, very similar. Um, although the cardstock, very, very different. So the cardstock is, um, let me see, I know I've got some Melon Mambo cardstock I can just pull out quickly. So let's have a look at, um, is it in here? Here we go. Right, that's Melon Mambo cardstock. Okay, so you can see ink wise, very little difference. Cardstock wise, let me just get that out okay so cardstock wise that's polished pink the first one and the second one so let's put that down here so that's polished pink that's melon mambo so cardstock wise very very different the polished pink is a lot paler ink wise That's your um, Melon Mambo against your cardstock. And that's it against the... So it is, as it dries, there is, there's a little bit of difference, but not a huge amount. So if I pick that up on there, because you can see it sort of closer on there, that's against your polished pink. That's against your Melon Mambo. So you can see that there is, there's a slight difference as they're drying, but it's not huge. So, you know, this is the, the polished pink is a subtler colour. So as it's drying, and I bring it up closer because that's the easiest comparison with the cardstock behind, you can see the polished pink against the polished pink is lovely. Then if I take Melon Mambo, you can see that against that. It is slightly, the inks obviously are meant to coordinate with, so it's difficult when they're completely on their own. But you could certainly get away with having those two together um, because they are, they're similar enough. Um, although, as I say, as it is drying, because they do take a while to dry, that does that is exactly as it should be. You can see that that is a little bit different, but they are they're quite similar. Let let's put it as quite similar rather than exactly similar. Um, the fresh freesia really isn't like anything that we've got. Um, and it works beautifully with, so let's have a, I'm just going to stamp each one of these on here because I can always cut this out. So this is the new Fresh Freesia. Make sure that I've cleaned that ink pad. I'm just a bit concerned. I don't want to have them. What have I done with the, I've got everything everywhere and I've just cleaned the pad and what did I do with it? Did I put it up on there? Or is it down at the bottom? It must be down on here somewhere. You're probably all shouting at me because you probably can see it. I can't see. Oh no, here it is. I've just put it down on the side here. Okay, so this is our fresh freesia. is this one so that's our fresh freesia I do love that I do love that very much I think it's a beautiful colour works really well with the um, um, the new polished pink 
Um, and you can see, you know, as as the polished pink is drying, it is it is quite different to the melon mambo. Um, so I I you know turning around and saying that they are very similar when they first go down they are when they dry they're not the um, polished pink is a is a subtler color it really is I'm not getting these cleaned up very well now so i'm just going to ink the other colors and put them down so we've got our polished pink and our freesia fresh freesia we've then got our Soft succulent. Which is this one. Which is say does go on very sort of green. It does dry. Um, much um, softer. Um, you know when it first goes on. I always think oh that's a bit too. Um, it's a bit green green but it's actually not it's a, it's quite a gray green when it dries so that's quite nice then we've got so that was our mint macaron that we thought would look beautiful together with it so i am going to just put some mint macaron together on it um So that's our mint macaron, which I'm going to put that next to it because I do like that mint macaron with it. Um, very different colour, but they do work beautifully together. Um, really brings out the sort of green. Um, I quite like that, that combination of those two together, I think will work beautifully. So the soft succulent and the mint macaron is a definite one for me. Um, then we've got getting them all over the place now so that's one of the new ones then we've got our other green which is the evening evergreen which is rather nice because that's quite dark and again as a leaf let's put that in together yes you see I think that they work beautifully together those three really lovely because it is a very nice dark sharp green so it's beautiful on there um then we've got let's just get our um i want to say peekaboo fish our fresh freeze no it's not it's our pale papaya so this is pale papaya let's just get the I'm sure that's dry so pale papaya can come down on here, which again is rather nice, and is quite, it's quite a, a again a just a pretty colour, really pretty colour together. So that's those. We've got one more. What one have we missed? Um, no, we haven't. We've got that one. That was the first one, which is there. Okay, so those are our colours which is the polished pink and I'm hoping you can see I am going to pick this up now now that it's actually um, there we go now that it's actually dried a bit you can see that the polished pink is softer than the melon mambo is a softer colour so we've got the polished pink which is this one and the that is the cardstock so let's put that on there in fact what i can do is that's a good idea let me just take so you can see one of the great things about stamping up stuff is the coordination so when you've got i'm just looking for my scissors as so i've got ink pads all over the place Okay, one, I say one of the great things is coordination. So let me just take this out very quickly so we can put that ink swatch with it. Okay, so now you can see that is your 
polished pink. You see how beautifully that coordinates together. Um, and then I'm going to, because when you take it on its own, you can turn around all those stamped next to each other. We did say that they looked fairly similar. However, if I turn around and say, right, this is, I'm going to take that away. That's Melamambo. You can see it doesn't work as well. If I put this one back, that's your polished pink. Almost blends in completely. That is your Melamambo. So that's where the inks come into their own, coordinating them with the cardstock. They match perfectly. So the second one was, and I'm going to try and get all of these in on here. So that's our polished pink. Well, I can take it so I can take it just up to there and you can see how beautiful that is. Then we're going to take the um, pale papaya. So it'll take me a while to get used to the names, but that's the pale papaya. And I'm then going to take out the pale papaya on here which again is just a beautiful soft um, I wouldn't even call it an orange it's almost like a um, a rich darker cream colour um, but there you go you can see how that again just works beautifully then we've got our green which is the lovely um what's it called i have to get it out soft succulent so that's our soft succulent put it that side i'm just going to cut this out i always find it's quite nice to do little swatches and things and particularly if it's a stamp pad so that's the um soft succulent turn it the right way up so we're not reading it upside down then we've got the which i really like on the green so that's the green which is the evening evergreen so we can put that in there okay so that's the evening evergreen like that and then the last one which I haven't even stamped my goodness oh yes I have I've already cut that one out so that is I've got some scraps to do some things with um, so the last one is the I don't know whether I can get that in but that is the fresh freesia so if we put them all in together, how can I get them all in together? Um, let's put them up like that. So we've got this one. Just trying to bring it in a little bit so you've got your colours on the, um, the paper. That one on there, that one on there. I'm not going to get all five of them in at the same time. I'm going to just bring this one in on here. But you can see on there that's the fresh freesia so they are absolutely beautiful colors um i can just pop that there can't i stick that in like that so you can just about see it with the um with the ink pads um in fact if i take it off this way there's me turning around well, remember all the colours and things, but I can put this so you can see one of the things that um, Stamping Up prides itself on is the fact that their colour coordination is absolutely next to none. So if we look at this, we've got this gorgeous polished pink. We've got the, um, you see those will go beautifully together. You've got the fresh freesia. You've got the... And again, those look beautiful together. You've got this lovely pale papaya. And then you've got your greens in there. So really, if you were 
starting off and you wanted a colour palette that gave you all your beautiful colours to go with, um, you know, everything from your, from your flowers to your centres and things of your leaves to your greenery, you've got the complete palette there. So I just think that they are absolutely beautiful. Your polished pink, your pale papaya, your, sorry, fresh freesia, pale papaya, soft succulent, soft succulent, and I'm going to have to stick it up on there, your evening evergreen. So I'm afraid this has gone on forever and a day, but I did want to do the, the inks with different colours and to just show you how beautiful they are. Um, thank you so much for watching me. Hope it's been useful. I will be back tomorrow with um, more of the things that I've, I've unboxed. I just wanted to go through the new ink colours and show you how they work. So as always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.